It is the cozy season that we greet, so is Barbie giving us a trick or a treat. <laughs> Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into today's video. Here we go. Hello all my dolly besties, aka the best community in the world ever. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing good. Uh, I'm actually doing quite okay myself after all that I've been through this year. It has not been the best year privately for me. Um, Doll-wise, actually, it has been the best year for me. <laughs> But uh, I just wanted to quickly uh, say and uh, thank you guys for all of your messages, checking in with me from time to time, and just really appreciate all of your love and support uh, for me in this time where I just recently lost my mother. And um, I can only say that I'm just really surprised how much love and uh, support there was for me out there. And I can only be just forever grateful for that and um yeah i'm doing quite okay actually uh, i've had me a good holiday and luckily i had some videos in advance so i could really take some time to process everything and um it was just really heartwarming getting all of these messages from you and um it, it really helped me a lot to uh in my griefing uh a lot of you shared your stories with me on how you grieved or how you did not grieve um and it, it really meant a lot to me that you guys opened up to me so i will forever take that with me and thank you guys for sharing all of the uh personal stories because it is just it's hard yeah it is just effed up and it's hard so um from time to time you get just overwhelmed with like a wave of emotion and i've learned to let that happen because it can really relieve yourself from the stress in your body i guess so um yeah I'm good, you guys. I really am. So thank you so much for your concern and for checking in with me. And I'm just really excited for today's video because there's a lot of cute stuff Barbie has in store for us. Also, can we talk about my lounge fly jacket? How cool is this jacket? I am so obsessed. Look at all of the Barbie drawings on the sleeves. The, the B, the, oh my gosh, and the back. Yeah. <laughs> I just got my Odile girl, which I'm totally obsessed about, and I cannot wait to make a video with her. So a lot of cute and exciting stuff is about to happen. Okay, but first we have to talk about all of these cute Barbie releases that are coming our way, and I could not wait to talk to you guys about that. And you know, your girl loves a good Barbie talk, so let's go. <laughs> okay, starting off with uh, the 85th celebration of Batman. And we are getting ourselves a Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy doll. It took a long time before we got to see how these girls were going to look. They kept these very well hidden from us, I must say. Because usually these kind of dolls leak pretty soon but they were able to really keep this from us and let me just say i i love a good comic book hero especially when i was a kid i was obsessed with the x-men and i still think they need to release like several x women 
for Barbie. Yeah, definitely. I know we had the Mystique, the Storm, and the Phoenix a couple of years ago. Um, and I was so happy to see that. But we need a Jubilee. We need a Jean Grey. We need the 80s version of Storm. We need... <laughs> Who else do we need? We need an Emma Frost. <gasps> Emma Frost would be, yeah, okay. But that, but all that aside, let's take a look at these girls. Harley Quinn, I mean, she's such a popular character, so it's very smart that they did that. And of course, it had to be in the Batman universe. Um, I was kind of let down they didn't do Catwoman, because in the Batman universe, Catwoman is my, I mean, yeah. I wanted to be Catwoman. <laughs> um, we all want to be a little bit of a Catwoman sometimes, right? But I mean, crazy Harley Quinn, she's so popular and I love her to death. It, okay, she's not pastel aesthetic, but I mean, that hair, that hair is just to obsess about. Love it. I love that she has the crazy makeup. Of course, she had to have a crazy smile. So this face sculpt for her is great. And I thought this was the carnival face sculpt, but it's actually called BB. Never knew that. Okay. The outfit, it's perfect. Um, <laughs> the giant hammer. I just love that kind of crazy. I really do. Um, I guess if I were a villain, I would definitely have some Harley Quinn in me. Yeah, I would be a mix of Catwoman and Harley Quinn because I'm actually quite an introvert. <laughs> I know you wouldn't tell, but uh, I actually am. And I like being on my own, which is kind of like a Catwoman thing, I guess. But I'm also crazy cuckoo B-T-C-H, yeah, which is where Harley Quinn comes in, right? Yeah, so, okay. Um, really love her. Poison Ivy, love her too. I'm, I, I really, I don't, yeah, okay. There are some issues with her bodysuit, you guys. I love the design of it uh, but you can already tell from a distance it's that cheap fabric that crunchy cheapy fabric and I think she deserves better than that yeah it would be better if it were kind of like a bit more shiny I guess um, I love that she comes with that crazy plant that flesh-eating plant and her uh, heart-shaped arrow yeah I do love that not crazy about the shoes either yeah it's a good mold, I guess, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Poison Ivy just leaves stuff to be desired. Is that a sentence? I guess so. Yeah, it's it, Poison, apart from the Lena face with the gorgeous long red hair, um, yeah, and her makeup, I, I, I definitely am seeing some uh, one-of-a-kind versions for her. I'm, I cannot wait to see what people are going to do with her. And um, back to Harley, you know, it is, I guess, one of the most popular costumes for Halloween. And uh, alongside Barbie, actually, from the past year, I think uh, 2023 was, uh, Barbie was one of the most uh, popular costumes uh, to select for the Halloween season. Same goes with the Ken costume. So, um, and of course, Margot Robbie was also Harley Quinn. So it's, it's a full circle Barbie moment here. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on these villainous beauties? Are you missing Catwoman? Are there other p girls maybe, or villain girls or hero girls that you are missing from the Batman universe that should get their own Barbie? Let me know. So next up is an interesting collaboration. It is Barbie X Nunuri. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. First I was like, is it Nunuri? But then I was like, no, because it's double O and it's like, again, double O. So it's Nunuri. Nunuri. Uh, okay. Never knew this influential AI character existed until now. <laughs> So I was not familiar with this whole character. So of course I checked the profile and everything and um, let's just take a look at these dolls. What do we think of them? I think they did a perfect recreation of the character as a doll and a Barbie version with that. I 
I think they executed this very well. I would not have d done it very differently, I think. But still, do I love it? That is the question. I'm not sure. It doesn't feel like it's yeah, it, I know it's new and it's a different shape for Barbie or a different, you know, but fashion wise, I do love the outfits, but it's not, it's not giving us something new or something surprising fashion wise. So I think we have to look at this in two different ways. Doll wise, it is, it is a good recreation. You cannot deny that. I mean, it is what you'd expect to see for that character in doll form. Fashion-wise, I think the fashion pieces are pretty nice quality, actually. Uh, I love the shimmering suit for Barbie. Um, I love the kind of like, you know, pink collection rip-off dress for the Nuno Uri character. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure if Barbie, other Barbies can wear these fashions because I think it's a kind of a different body type. Um, yeah, there are too many questions. We need to see someone unbox this because the box set actually looks very pretty. They really emphasized on the presentation of this set because the box looks amazing and it's like this cover that you need to lift and then you see them in their boxes, pretty and posed. It's, it's almost a kind of piece of artwork, a really, really a collectible that you just well, do not want to unbox, actually, because it's so pretty boxed. Yeah. So I am really curious to know what you guys all think about this whole Barbie X new, new Uri set. If you were following the AI influencer character, I think you would be pretty surprised, right? Because, yeah, I never, I did not know about this whole collab thing until the drop of the dolls. So, what do we think? Then we are also getting a new uh, doll vote for Brooklyn. So, I don't know if this is going to be a Barbie style doll. I don't think so. I hope, actually, it's going to be a um, collector line only for Brooklyn. You know, like a reinvented Shawnee universe, but just for Brooklyn. Yeah. So it says that it's planned for a uh, fall 2025 collections. So literally like next year. So um, it doesn't say if there's going to be like a complete Brooklyn doll line that's going to be recurring. Um, but I hope it is. I hope it is because I love to see like a whole Brooklyn universe. Give her her own sense of style and uh, more of a background and a personality. So, okay, let's check what we can choose from. So the vote will be sheer chic or boho chic. Hmm. Now I'm going to give you a minute to predict what my choice is going to be. Of course, not a whole minute. Okay, I'm definitely going for Boho Chic because it has ruffles. It has a little bit of romance in it. It has those gorgeous boots. I'd love to see how this will translate to a fashion doll. Sheer chic, love it, but that should be a fashion pack in my opinion. Yeah, because I think the presentation of boho chic could be way more interesting than sheer chic. Sheer chic, I also love that, and I'd love to see how that will translate into fashion, because I think the skirt is kind of see-through. Uh, same with the shirt, and then that corset underneath. Yeah, it, it's a cute look, but I'd love to see that as a fashion pack or even better, getting the boho chic as a doll with one additional fashion set, which is the sheer chic set. Yeah, <laughs> that would totally satisfy us, right? But I really cannot wait to see more Brooklyn collector dolls because I think Brooklyn really has pretty big fan base actually in the Barbie universe. We love, we love Brooklyn. So can't wait to see. Okay, next is the Barbie Fashion Model Collection Exquisite Evening Gown Gal. Oh yes. Okay. So let me start off by saying that Barbie Fashion Model Collection really, really isn't 
what it used to be. I mean, uh, where to begin? This is what I was kind of afraid of because with the budget that these designers are getting, they're trying their absolute best. I mean, look at the sketch on the box. That looks pretty amazing. And um, that hairstyle that that doll has, I would love to see that translated onto the doll. And for some reason, the execution of the doll, it just, you can just tell they had to make decisions here because the jewelry is all plastic. Uh, I think the fabric actually they use for the gown isn't all that bad, but there's just something off with this Sealstone doll and I cannot pinpoint what it is. The box is bigger, so it's kind of like a deluxe Silkstone girl, but it doesn't feel that way. Especially, I know, we just cannot compare these dolls to like 2007 Silkstone dolls. But I mean, it is just... I do not know and cannot pinpoint why it's not giving. Because I think the dress is actually pretty okay quality. Um, I do not like the oversized sleeve thing. Her sleeves are are really like loose and I don't know. It's it's probably something very haute couture ish, but I just I, it's a personal taste. I don't I don't love it. No, um, it's a shame though because I you know I love myself a pretty silkstone Barbie. So this is kind of heartbreaking, actually. And still, still, I have to admit, I still kind of feel FOMO to get this girl. Just because. Just because. Yeah. I just, I, yeah. But I think she will be available in a good sale. And then I'll probably will still get her. Yeah. Over to Ryan Gosling faced Ken Dolls re-releases yeah so um they actually decided to re-release the rollerblade and perfect day ken with the ryan gosling face sculpt <gasps> yeah so i love that you're actually getting like a budget option to get his doll version because we've only had the kenuff doll and the um fireplace uh set the two pack um and I wonder, actually, if they are also going to re-release, like, um, Mojo Dojo Casa House Ken, um, the Jeans Pair Ken, and the Cowboy Ken with this face sculpt. Or are they just going to leave it at these two? Yeah. And I have to admit, the face they used for the first release, he kind of has grown on me. Yeah. But of course, what are our points of critique? Well... He does look a little bit cranky, if you ask me. Especially, I don't know why, but the perfect day one. And I would love to see the rollerblade Ken with an open mouth or kind of like a smiling version, I think. Um, because this is kind of like the phase in the movie where he's all innocent and still like all into Barbie and, you know. Um, but this is already giving him kind of like villain energy. Yeah, that's my only critique. But um, also, I would love to know <laughs> the whole complete backstory. Why Ryan did not agree on, um, you know, licensing his facial features for the doll. Because um, probably he thought that Barbie the movie wouldn't do as well as it ended up doing. So he was like, probably too embarrassed to have toys in his likeness. But now that it's such a success, he's like, mm, maybe I can, you know, make a pretty penny off of it. So let's do it anyway. Yeah. If you have some tea about that, drop it. <laughs> Next up is this year's Dia de Muertos 2024 dolls. And loving that Ken is a returning factor to this line. Because um, let me say that the Ken this year, for me, kind of outshines Barbie. Um, yeah. And, um, okay, if we compare this Dia de Muertos lady, I think 
she's the least attractive of the whole lineup. She looks the cheapest to me. And it's because of all of her very um, big and colorful plastic jewelry that really makes her um, a almost kind of play line, I want to say. Yeah. Ken, on the other hand, he looks so handsome. And I love that kind of like the, the pop color here is this very minty uh, blue or an icy blue, I want to say. I almost want to say turquoise. I know. It's always so hard for me to name colors. Um, I'm going to keep it at... I'm going to keep it at icy blue. Yeah. I really love... Um, yeah, that's pop color for this set. Uh, but more on Ken than on Barbie. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know. Barbie's lacking here. Yeah. And Ken... For in my taste, in my humble opinion, Ken is definitely outshining Miss B here. Yeah. Um, I will say I do really love her uh, Dia de Muertos face paint. Uh, the other girls were really harsh. And this one has a more of a softer, more pastel-like face, actually. And I, I wonder how long her hair is because I would love to see this girl with a very cute hairstyle, maybe with like some pink and blue skulls as accessories in her hair. Um, also for the earrings, you know, I, I would love to get my hands on designing a very cute and adorable kawaii pastelery Dia de Muertos girl. It's a lovely and beautiful tradition. So I love that these are recurring dolls for Barbie. But Ken is definitely outshining Barbie in this set. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, I could not wait to include this gal into the mix. Because I know she will be getting a full release in a couple of days. The tribute to fashion Oh my god, I'm already screaming out loud for this sketch. It is giving Marie Antoinette realness. Um, and if you want to know something about me, my father is really into history and he became an electrician. But if he could make other choices in life, he would definitely be a history teacher. He kind of specializes in the era of uh, Napoleon and um, that kind of era. But um, I was always obsessed with Marie Antoinette and Sissy, of course. Any period that has really big poofy gowns, <laughs> a lot of romance, you know, roses, ribbons, all of that. Of course, I'm so predictable, I know. But my dad always loved to tell me stories uh, about those times and uh, about those characters in history. Um, so I would love to see more historical dresses on dolls and, you know, oh my gosh, I would love, 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 love to get this doll. I cannot wait because looking at the sketch, you can see that it's pink hair. The dress is pink and rose. You can already see a peek at the motif of the dress. It looks like really nice fabric those shoes with those ribbons and the golden heel underneath it. Oh my gosh. I know I'm going to scream once I see the complete picture of the doll. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's a lot of excitement for a sketch. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, I just love it. I would love, you know, we had the princesses of the world um, from Dolls of the World. I also loved that whole thing. All those beautiful Renaissance princesses, um, Victorian princesses. Wow. Yeah, I can look at those dresses forever. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if it's just me. So what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for her? Do you guys love a good you know, elaborate poofy sissy gown on your dolls, let me know. <laughs> so next up are these new hair play dolls. I think they will be released in 2025. I'm not sure if they already are going to be released, like, you know, for this Christmas season already. But um, I think they're cute. 
Yeah. Millie, I don't know, but the other girl looks very adorable. Yeah. And I have to admit, I would love to see, like, all colored, fantasy colored hair on them. Not just a streak. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe that's also the goal of the doll, to give her kind of like a semi. Not to make her too fantasy core, but, you know, just a little. <laughs> um... But I love the kitty theme on the dress, the bows, uh, yeah. And the extra silver dress. That looks cute, by the way, that silver little dress. The rainbow comb. It's just a very fun doll. But I'm always surprised how much these ladies cost. Because once they pop up online, they usually start off at like $30 or something. Right? Yeah, pretty expensive for these girls. But uh, so for these girls, you always have to wait a little to have like a cute price drop. And I'm always excited to see a good hair play girl and um, also to give to like little girls in my, you know, social circles because I'm there. I'm Auntie Aryan there to take care of your girls, your dolls and that hair because... <laughs> These girls mess up that hair so darn quickly. So I need to come to the rescue and, you know, restore it and um, probably do it again the week after. But, you know, we were all young. And like I said in previous videos, I always brushed my dolls like bald. Yeah. So I can't blame those girls. Um, but yeah. Hair play 2024 or 2025. Not sure. Also quickly, uh, inspiring women, Isabel Allend. Write what should not be forgotten. That's that's just such a pretty and inspiring quote. Yeah. But uh, she's giving Karen energy. Let's be real. Heavy on the Karen energy here. And, um, and that little Miss Honey that she comes with is very cute, actually. The dress, super cheap. Um, it's a good design, though. But um, they definitely could have add, you know, I don't know. A little more to give it a little bit more of a finished vibe. You know, that to me, she just does not look finished. Yeah. It's just really quickly pulled together. To be fair, I do not know a lot about, you know, the character she's portraying and the history of her. Um, but I, so I'm just really looking at the doll itself and what it's giving me. And it's giving me Karen energy unfinished business okay next up this magical girl a beauté i went cuckoo crazy <laughs> when i saw this girl because she is so darn cute oh my gosh where to begin okay number one millie face sculpt i know but absolutely cute one of the cutest millies ever because that peach hair color with that pink peeking through, it is giving me everything. Yes, it has a molded on top, but it's also giving Y2K belly button body, fairy topia vibes, maybe even bend and snap legs. Are we getting that? Is that what I'm seeing? Are these rubber legs with that bend snap feature in it? Also, her fairy-like shoes, or like the vines that go all the way around her calves and everything, it has a freaking heel. Yes. Not even the Y2K Fairytopia girls had like a heel. And just to give you guys a reference, let me get my Fairytopia fairy. And as you can see, I really think it has the same body as this Y2K fairy. Now, the, the, the wings actually are not the same because she really has, you know, attached wings. Um, and this girl actually has like these clip-ons on her arms that, you know, function as wings. Um, but I love the design of the wings. It also seems like the wings have a color change feature. So you can, uh, I think, with warm water, they will appear like hot pink and with cold water, they will appear soft pink. Oh, I love it. And um, I, you know, with this girl, I, I 
Okay, too much excitement. <sighs> okay. So, immediately what I think of is, okay, I need to get me one, rebody her definitely on a made-to-move body. Or maybe on a Y2K body that does not have a molded-on feature. Second, definitely need one to keep as is, because I really love her as is. And it's a first Playline Barbie doll that I really love as is. Even, even with a molded on top, I would never, ever thought I would say this out loud. Yeah. And also the skirt is actually giving us that, um, I want to say 90s, you know, crinkly fabric of the mermaid tail that the um, 1992 already had. Yeah. Can I show her? Wait. And I'm talking about this uh, kind of like fabric, you know? It is plasticky and kind of stiff, but it does age pretty well. Yeah. So, um, how exciting. Yeah. So let me know. Am I just crazy cuckoo here and just an all-around magical girl and pretty biased to love her because of that? Or is she just a very fun, designed, cute, new Barbie doll? I think we were all pretty excited for her, right? And just very quickly, also give a little shout out to these Sanderson Sisters Collector Monster High set. Um, we had, I think, a Disney, Shop Disney version of them, um, which I was really not that excited about. But these Monster High versions of them look really cute. Um, apart from the fabric, on the dresses and if you look closely uh, yeah it does have some cheap factors here and there but face screening hair wise um there are on these you know g1 monster high bodies i i'm living i really love these dolls yeah i think they're really cute um and you know i just love that hocus pocus just became such a cult halloween classic Right, I know it didn't do well actually first when it was released, um, but I'm so glad it became just such a cult classic. I watched uh, the second Hocus Pocus 2 last year with my witchy bestie and she was all all over it. And um, yeah, I'm it's it's fun. $125. So, okay, so I thought it was going to be $150 or higher. So, hmm. 125, okay, that's probably where the cheap fabric comes in. Anyway, the Sanderson Sisters Collector, love them. They will be released October 3rd on 9 a.m. PT. So that was all the fun stuff I wanted to share with you all. Um, I hope you're all excited for what's to come, especially from Barbie this upcoming cozy season. Let me know down in the comments below, of course, uh, which dolls you're most excited for which dolls disappointed you, you know, all the tea about the dolls we just discussed. And um, I wish you all a very lovely Sunday and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah, big kisses from me and I love you all.